Hi, Nick Houston here again for Gotham Sound and Communications. Um, second of two videos here on a hot, hot Friday in New York City. Uh, the air conditioner works, so uh, it's not that hot in here. All right, so today um, we're going to show something off that we don't usually talk about, and but that is the uh, the new WYSICOM uh, manager for Bluetooth. I take my phone off the table. That was crazy. Sorry about that. Um, the new WYSICOM Bluetooth manager. Uh, so um, let's cut back to me for a second. Um, nope, that's the overhead. Me? There. Uh, okay, so uh, the, the WYSICOM Bluetooth manager, for those of you that don't know, uh, the new WYSICOM products, the MCR54 um, and the MTP60s are Bluetooth enabled. So there is an app for both Android and iOS that are releasing more features uh, day by day. Um, but we're going to use this iPad here. Uh, and so first we're going to go to the App Store. And if we type in WYSICOM, there are two options. Uh, I assume that the innovative learning language is either an ad or WYSICOM has multiple revenue streams. Uh, so we're going to look at the WYSICOM BT, uh, which I assume stands for Bluetooth. Uh, we will open it because we've already downloaded it. And um, on the screen already, you can see that there are transmitter, um, there's a transmitter page, a receiver page, and a settings page. Um, so we'll go through all of those and we'll, we'll show how to, how to kind of pair these things. Um, but we'll just look at the, the settings page since we're here. We'll look at the preferences, uh, debug mode, and confirm disconnection. Uh, we're not going to go into debug mode. I am not that um, debuggy. We can look at known devices. And I guess I will, uh, you can look at, oh, fun. These are the things I've already paired with this. Uh, so that's pretty neat. So there's an MCR54 and an MTP60 paired. Oh, we can look at the user guide. I feel like that's refreshing to have. We can get support and report a bug. And of course, we can always follow people on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and the World Wide Web. Uh, OK, great. So. Um, Let's see. Right now there's nothing paired. So let's pair a, well, let's get a receiver up there first. So we'll go to the overhead and we'll take a look at the MCR54. Here's our power button. Go ahead and turn it on. Okay, there we go. And it's up and you can see on the app, it's already uh, populated. Um, so it's gonna ask to pair. We'll just pair with it and we'll allow it to go in. Um, Let's see if I can unpair. Mm. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what that did. Bookmarking, viewing. Nope. All right. Well, anyway, if we, I'm going to show you how this is done on the overhead first. So uh, to make this pair with an app, you're going to go into the menu. And you're going to scroll down to where it says BT. Uh, and under BT, um, you are going to want to put it into pairing mode. Now, you can do pairing mode uh, and you can add a passcode to it. So if you want your Bluetooth to be super secure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that in pairing mode. And uh, then we would click on the receiver. It's going to ask uh, in the app. So I clicked on the receiver. And it's going to ask me to pair. And it'll pair. And when it pairs, it shows up um, on this screen um, like so. Similarly, if we take a look at the transmitter, we would go ahead and turn that on. And I'm going to turn the RF on just for fun. Um, so turn it on, go. And there we go, RF's at 100%. And uh, we, would push and hold, we would push both these buttons to get into the menu and go into the the menu that I can find. The settings menu, Bluetooth, power yes, pairing yes. And similarly, we would go back to the app, push the transmitter button down the bottom, which I don't know, there you go, as you can see it. And then it will pair with the transmitter and load the data. Okay, so there's not, uh, the, you know, there's some functionality here that, that we can see. Um, so, you know, specifically with the transmitter, um, we can change the group and channel. So right now we're in, you know, group sync for infrared sync because I synced it before. Uh, but we could put it in channel uh, double zero. 
Um, so the one thing that's interesting about channel double zero is, uh, or group double zero, is that's the unlock uh, frequency. So if we were to put this in, let's say, group 12 for fun, uh, you'll notice that the frequency option becomes locked out. If I try to hit the frequency button, uh, it's going to say down the bottom that the frequency is locked. So if you want just to be able to willy-nilly change frequencies, you're going to want to be have everything set to uh, group zero, and then you can go into the channel button and change the frequency. So I could change that from 47100 to whatever I want. There's so many options. Uh, 47200, for instance. Um, other things you can change on the transmitter, what the compander is. Uh, so we're using the ENS compander wideband versus narrowband, and you can also adjust the gain. Um, so similarly, if we had a record recording media mounted, um, we could um, we could hit record and we could change. Looks like we can change the uh, the name and the take number. So that's cool. And then in terms of the mic mode, uh, looks like we've got 3 watts, 2 watts, and uh, compatibility with the PHA60 at either 12 or 48 volts, um, or instrument level. Flip the phase, turn the limiter on and off, which we've got the limiter on now. And of course, we can uh, do RF toggle, mute toggle, and system info. So we can mute, um, we can mute everything and we can unmute everything and we can power off the RF, which will leave the Bluetooth on. And you, you can see on the screen here that the RF is now, um, is now off. We've got the, the little antenna slash line through, so we'll just toggle it back on there. And uh, all right, and we can't record because I didn't put a media in there. If we go back into the receiver menu, uh, we can open that up. Every time it's going to ask, you know, if, if you want to pair. It's got some interesting, um, it does look a little bit spammy. Um, but with the uh, receiver, same thing. You can change the, the group number frequency, um, which I'll just tap on them so you can see. But there's the group again. We're in the unlock mode. You can edit the frequency if you're in the unlock mode. Change the squelch. So you can do long range squelch, normal, or whatever your user setting is. And again, change the compander. So um, one thing to know that at this particular time, the receiver is not going to change the frequency on the transmitter. That is something that is um, that they're working on to be able to pair the transmitter and the receiver together. So let's say you know, we, we want to change this to, we want to have the receiver be for, um, let's say 470, 100, right? I have paired these transmitters, to the transmitter and receiver together, but if we go over to the transmitter, um, oh, I had the, the transmitter at 470, 100 already. So let's, let me change it to something else. Let pair again. So let's change it to 475. That's far enough away. So you see the RF, um, the RF on the screen over there dies. Uh, but if we go over to the transmitter and edit it to be the similar, um, the same frequency. There we go. Just changing that to 475. And now if we were to go over back to the receiver, you can see all of the, uh, the, RF inf the RF is full. So you can see that the RF is full. We've got telemetry. Uh, we can see what the output gain is and all that stuff. And if we looked on the, uh, on the screen, we can see battery level, telemetry, all that stuff there. So if you are changing frequencies um, using the app, it's, it's the same thing. You have to change one at a time. Um, to make sure it's sunk up, but you still have that kind of long-range remote control. Um, the other thing about th uh, there is additional functionality coming to allow those things to um, to work together. Okay, so the other thing to know is that there is a um, where is it? 
Jeff just told me. Oh, known devices. Aha. So no, there is a there is a setting that allows you to um, to be able to to batch transmit different commands. So if you are you know if you want to mute them all, you can. If you want to uh, put them all into record, you can. Um, so that you can just kind of do all those different um, bulk commands that you would want to do to every transmitter rather than having to hit record on each one. Um, much, much more useful. Um, so anyway, I should have said this in the beginning. Um, you know, this is a new thing. It's kind of like an open box um, for us. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And um, either I'll answer them for you live, and hopefully I will not make things up, uh, or we will get them answered later on. Um, so just to, to bring some comments out there, Jim Keeney says, hi. Hey, Jim, how are you? What's going on? Um, thank you for tuning in. And then we've got something from uh, Alessio, um, uh, who said at last, yeah, it's been a long time coming. I know they've been talking about Bluetooth remote control since the MCR 54, and now that they've got the MTP 60, um, you know, now they, they have the transmitters to match the receivers. So great to not have to, to continually go to the packs and, uh, and change them. Um, so we'll give it another minute for any more questions to pop up. Um, but I hope everybody is getting ready for a good weekend. Um, and if you're not having a weekend, I hope that you have uh, a good middle of the week, whatever your off days are. I know production schedules are wonky at best. Um, and I should mention, as always, um, we are huge into demos. We think that people should really try before they buy. You never know if you're going to like something until you um, get it in your hands at the, uh, at the risk of upsetting people. Um, I just switched from Android to iPhone, and uh, boy, what a learning curve for me. Um, it's going to be okay, but I really did. I wish I demoed it first, that's for sure. My 11-year-old uh, kid knows a lot more than I do. Um, all right. Uh, Jared, what do you think? Should we wrap it up? Okay. Peter? Great. These are the voices that are in my head. This is why I'm wearing headphones. Um, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was a useful video for you. As always, um, email us about demos or any other questions, buying, renting. Um, I don't know. You want to talk about whatever. Uh, we're always around info at gothamsound.com. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest sound news. And as always, uh, go to gothamsound.tv to watch this video and others. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.